What's going on, wrestling family? Welcome back to the channel. So my girl Dakota Kai finally turned on Bailey and wrestling family. We've been trying to warn people for months, and this is how we got to Dakota Kai can't be trusted part four. And even though what happened last night on SmackDown wasn't as surprising to me as it was the other people, when I was watching it, I was like, yeah, it confirmed what I was saying. But at the same time, something kind of fell off about the way it played out. So if you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Hit that subscribe button. But our theory about Dakota Kai has been going back since Crown Jewel that Dakota Kai is the mastermind behind all the events that's been happening with damage control. And she's been doing it on purpose to destroy it from within for her own personal gain, not to join one side or the other, but to do it for herself. And we believe that this was going to end up being a triple threat match at WrestleMania for the title between the original members of Damage Control, where Bailey is the baby face, EO's the tweener, and Dakota Kai goes back to Dakota I love, and that is Crazy Coda as the full blown heel. And I really feel like that that was going to be the original plan. I have no proof to support it, but we saw what happened. Unfortunately, Dakota Kai suffered a torn ACL, and they still can do this match further down the line as Survivor Series in my personal opinion. But let's get into SmackDown and what happened that night and why I feel like that something seems a little bit off by the way that it all played. So we had this tag team match between the Kabuki Warriors and Bayley and Dakota Kai. Now, this match was pretty interesting, but towards the end, we saw that Bailey hit Asuka with the super kangaroo kick. She turned around to crawl over to Dakota to give her the hot tag to bring her in. And once she swung to tag Dakota Kai, Dakota said, psych, jumped off the ring, jumped off the apron and says, sorry, buddy, you're on your own. And the cameraman did a pretty good job at zooming in on Bailey's face. And the look all over her face was disappointment. Like, dang, I knew she couldn't be trusted. And then we saw Kabuki Warriors try to attack her inside the ring. She fought them off, turned around and looked at Dakota Kai and said, huh? You gonna turn on me? Well, you can get these hands too. Really quickly, it turns into a brawl between Dakota Kai and Bailey, and then here comes Kabuki Warriors. They help uh, Dakota Kai attack Bailey, bring her to the ring. They all attack her one by one, showing that Dakota Kai has finally turned on her friend Bailey. So some of you guys might be thinking, like that was cut and dry. That pretty much showed what you've been talking about for the past couple months. What can seem off about this whole situation? Even though everything pretty much turned out the way that we've been talking about on this channel. The part that is weird, the part that feels like something is off is the timing of this turn. So some of the stuff I'm about to say may negate what I've been saying in the Dakota Kai can't be trusted series. Don't get me wrong. She still can't be trusted, but there's signs here to show that she could be a double agent for Bailey. Now, let me address the first reason why I believe that she could be a double agent for Bailey, and that is the timing of the turn. And the reason why that's important is because if you're Dakota Kai, if you're really joining forces with damage control, if you really wanted to screw Bailey over, why wouldn't you wait until WrestleMania to cross her title opportunity on the biggest stage and show damage control that you are fully invested in the team? By doing it on SmackDown, it leaves so much time between now and WrestleMania, which literally is a full month for so many things to happen between then and now. So the bigger question is, how are they going to pull off this whole double agent thing with Dakota Kai? Well, I got a theory of how they can work this whole thing out. Now, in the match with Bayley versus EO Sky for that championship belt, you can have it where Bayley has EO Sky laid out and have damage control, which consists of the Kabuki Warriors and Dakota Kai at the moment, and come in the ring to try to help save this situation. Now, for this to work, somehow, some way, you have to have the referee knocked out. Now, I know this is overbooking, but this is the only way that this can work. So, as I said, you can have the Kabuki Warriors and Dakota Kai come in the ring to attack Bayley and save EO Sky in this hyena position that they always seem to use. But while they're waiting, you can have Bailey look at Dakota Kai, give her a quick smirk, and both of them attack both of the members of the Kabuki Warriors. So at this moment, you can have EO Sky come too, and then you have a three on two situation where they're overpowering Dakota Kai and Bailey. And again, the referee is still out, so you can't call a disqualification on this match. Now, while Damage Control is beating the brakes off of Dakota Kai and Bailey, they're going to need a little bit of help, which this opens up the door for someone to come in as a big moment help them out now in this moment one of these three people can definitely come in to help which will be a big moment i'm not going to say sasha banks or mercedes monet because i really believe she's going to go to AEW. but if she is the person to show up in a situation if this happened this would be a huge huge moment but pushing her to the side i will say this it could be one tegan knox we already know that dakota kai and tegan knox has a history they did have team kick they did have their rivalry, but they can just push things to a side and bring back Team Kick and they can be in alliance with Bailey, which will be an interesting faction. The second person it could be is Carmella. She's been gone since she had a kid, so 
but her and Bailey are really good friends. So this will be a great moment for her to return and to help out Bailey. And the third person I'm thinking of is it could be Alexa Bliss, which I thought she was going to show up at, 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 at Royal Rumble, but she's already had a history with damage control. So she can come back and help out as well. And the wild card could be Roxanne Perez, in my personal opinion. They've been trying to get her to go up to the main roster, even though she has no ties to anybody in this match, which is the least likely to happen. But if they want to bring up to the main roster, I believe that this will be a great situation to do that. Oh, the other person I want to add on to the list is it could be Jay Cargill. Because we saw what happened on SmackDown where they were walking backstage and, and we saw EO Sky try to get into the face of Jay Cargill. But Jade was way too tall. She can definitely make a situation happen there at WrestleMania. But at the end of the day, I still think Dakota Kai can't be trusted, whether that she can't be trusted by damage control or can't be trusted by Bailey. She still can't be trusted. Now, what do you guys think? Do you think what happened on SmackDown is literally just what it is and I'm overthinking it? Or do you think that situation happened this early to swerve us off so we won't think about what could possibly happen at WrestleMania? Let me know what you guys think in the comments section. I got to go to work. Thank you guys so much for watching. Salute. Peace.